now you are going to see data monitoring and multiple widgets using thingspeak with arduino so in this particular session we will be seeing what is the particular cloud and with the help of cloud how we will be able to create a particular field and within that multiple fields we will be comparing two sensors two sensors like we will be going on with node mcu and therefore we will be using contactless temperature sensor and also dht11 so with this particular two sensors how to be interfaced with node mcu and from node mcu to thingspeak cloud with the multiple widgets so on towards that multiple widgets here we will be using how to monitor the data how to download the monitor data in the csv file how to collect that api key that to write api key and that will be interfaced with our particular cloud then after that we will be just with the help of widget we will be making an alert indicator within that particular thing speak generally if we just go for a cloud oriented purpose it is known as a virtual storage so from that virtual storage we will be able to access it from anywhere and after accessing that we will try to delete it and the deleting option is also available if you want means you can also download that particular data set and later on whatever the data set we are downloading it can be transferred to any other machine learning for prediction purpose so this kind of different different implementations here we can directly integrate with the some of the free clouds or some of the research clouds like thingspeak ubidots blink app and we can also go through this paid clouds like aws microsoft azure etc so here once when we are going to interface this particular cloud here we will be in introducing a another one hardware known as node mcu so this node mcu it comes under the arduino family which contains esp8266 wi-fi so through that particular wi-fi module we will be able to communicate with any method of cloud and this particular wi-fi can be integrated with any of the routers so how to add that particular package into an arduino ide like this particular link is must over here http slash arduino.esp.com esp8266.com slash table slash package esp8266.com underscore index.json so this data is must and therefore this data should be posted inside the preference so here the preference it is available in arduino go to file click on preference additional board manager url so if you want to add any other external board it will be having the respective board manager as well as that particular link so you have to paste it after pasting click it on ok then go to sketch library go to include library and manage libraries now let us wait till everything gets loaded up over here now after that here we have to just type esp8266 so here there are many options so better let us go for board manager inside the tools board manager esp8266 so here i have already installed that which is used for all the purpose and all the boards including esp12 module so instead of this remove here there will be an install option click on that install it automatically gets installed over here now go for tools again go for board esp8266 board from that select node mcu and therefore our board is completely configured with arduino now this is the entire architecture of board whenever you are downloading a pinout of board make sure that all the details must be there most of them will be selecting only for just looking for this gpo pins and digital output pins so here if you just download the other external interfaces means like txrx cts rts mosi miso selk scl sta so this kind of data are most important and today in this particular function here we will be using this scl and sta to interface this contactless temperature sensor so on that particular interfacing we will be requiring this particular portion which is known as d1 and d2 and towards the d0 we will be directly integrating our the humidity sensor now towards the same package we have to install one more go to sketch 
manage libraries type adafruit underscore mlx90614 so this library is needed here you have two options mini and normal so from this we have to select the mini sorry not mini we have to select the normal one and if you want to update means you can update hereby i am not updating it already installed the best version and it is currently interfaced and it is a good manner now we have installed that particular package also so to work on thingspeak first we have to create a thingspeak account so on towards thingspeak open thingspeak so hereby you have an option called create one click on the create one use the respective mail and you can create it and after create, providing all the details you will be getting a notification to your mail to verify the email id since i already have my mail id just logging it directly so now i have logged in and directly gone into one of the channel now this channel i am going to delete it you are going to create a fresh channel so hereby create a new channel give some name if you need description you can provide field one label as humidity temperature contactless temperature so three fields we are going to use now from this if you want any other applications like link to external site link to the github elevation go to the youtube or go to the vimeo cloud wherever it is required you can select it so now i am going to click on save channel hereby we have created an account logged in then we have created a channel still field only we have created and now next we will be taking the widgets then we have to get the right api key then enter the api key into the respective script and upload the program and we can execute it thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel